All right, welcome. We have an amazing sequence today. It's our full body rollout in 20 minutes. So this is something that I do often <clears throat> when I'm not feeling like I can dive really deeply into something, but I just want to walk away feeling wonderful. <laughs> so make sure you have your rolling ball and start with it under your right foot. So we're going to start with that plantar fascia release from the heel up to the ball of the foot and back. So just kind of get playful. And the reason why we initiate a lot of our rolling work, first with that actual rolling before we dive into trigger point release, is that it's kind of like tapping on the door of the nervous system, asking permission to step in. So just give a moment to arrive onto your mat today. And while you're rocking back and forth on that right foot, I'd love for you to take three deep breaths. Ah. Beautiful. And then arriving somewhere between the heel and the big toe. So on that inner or medial arch, I'd love for you to find a spot. And I'm going to show you guys just a little bit closer for that video. So somewhere between the heel and the big toe. So you're going to find a sweet spot somewhere in that medial arch, maybe rocking fat back and forth about an inch up an inch down, side to side until you receive a little spot that you feel like you can sit on. I've got a lot today there. <laughs> so I'm just gonna find one. And there's two positions you can play with. So the first is feet about hips distance. But if you're feeling like that's not supportive enough, I've really lately been enjoying a wide stance. So you could play with that, focusing more on wading through the heel and then pushing down into the ball from that position. Wherever you are, make sure the rest of your body is in yoga. So you're retracting the head, retracting the shoulders, dropping the pelvis into neutral. So the bowl of the pelvis is directly below the bowl of the ribs. And then you're sitting on that point until it releases about 5% or so. Basically until that initial screaming of the nervous system softens or diminishes, and then I want you to slowly release up and move just a tiny bit to the right or left of that initial point. So we're going to broaden around that point today. Again, your feet can be together or your feet could be a little bit further apart. Hands on hips or anywhere on your body might be of support to the belly, the chest. Nice deep breath drawing a lot of oxygenated air into those lungs and releasing out any stale CO2 you've been harboring so that your rolling practice really still is a yoga practice, really still is a pranayama practice. Each breath is a new opportunity to reconnect to your body. Let's move up off that point and now find a point from the heel to the middle of the foot, anywhere along that medial now to, to central arch. So again, I'll just show the video. It's anywhere from the middle of the heel to the middle of the foot. So kind of like right in the center of the foot, you might feel a lot of sensation. I want you guys to find a point there, move side to side, up and back until you really get nestled in a point. And then for this one, I often like stepping completely on the ball. So then my other foot kind of lifts up. If that's too intense, remember you have the first option with the knee bent or that second option with the legs wide. So lots of different positions that you might want to play with today. As you intensify things, your body is in yoga, head retracts, shoulders drop and discover that neutral pelvis below the neutral ribs. A couple breaths. Hmm. 
Mm, feels so good today. And then we'll slowly move somewhere to that outer edge of the foot. So just play with that area from the outer heel to the pinky toe. And you can actually even abduct the foot so you can externally rotate the leg and get a little bit more onto the real outer edge if that feels better for you. Or you can simply be rolling this time this line from that outer heel up to that pinky toe. So take a couple rolls, find that sweet spot, move a little side to side, up and down, discover where, where it's really tight, where there's a knot of that connective tissue. Sit into it. Find your breath, find your yoga and the rest of your posture. And then as you release that, just give the foot a few rolls all the way around from heel to the ball, maybe the toes, maybe grab the ball, stretching the toes, any last little bits on that foot before we eventually land the ball to the yoga mat, step the foot to the mat and just close your eyes. <laughs> I love recognizing the difference from one foot to the other. And then we'll shift now onto the left foot, everybody. So go ahead and start that entry roll. Just tapping into the nervous system again, letting ourselves know where we're headed. Beautiful. And then we're going to start again on that inner seam of the foot. So anywhere between the inner heel and the big toe, that medial arch. And again, if you actually internally rotate the leg a little bit, you'll be able to access that medial arch a bit more. Lots of sweet spots there. Those two positions we talked about, feet kind of hips distance, or feet could be a little bit wider. So play with a position where you feel really stable. You don't want any big jolty movements. And just press into that point until you feel a rebound effect so that rather than fighting away, the body kind of succumbs to that sensation and there's a bit of release. When you receive that release, we start to move on. It's just a short class. We're just looking for little bits of release today all over the body. We're in the middle of the foot now from the middle heel up to the mid toes. Get that entire center of the foot Maybe even find the ball in the immediate center of the foot, feet, hips distance, and then push into that left foot until that left leg gets straight. Ooh. Hold that for a couple breaths. And then roll it around, moving to the last outer edge here from the outer heel to the pinky toe. And remember for this one, you can always externally rotate the leg a little bit to make the outer edge just a bit more accessible. Finding any beautiful spots along the way. And then hold and breathe. Ah. Once you release that spot, go ahead back to the sole of the foot and just give a few closing rolls side to side, up to the toes, maybe clasp the toes around the ball. And then go ahead and release both feet to the mat. Close your eyes. And see if you can feel the benefits from that open foot all the way up the backs of your legs. Open your eyes, move on to your hands and knees. And then take the ball under the right quadricep and we're gonna lower down onto our forearms. So I'm lowering onto that right quadricep here as I arrive in Sphinx Pose. So for Sphinx Pose, it's really important for the pelvis to be heavy so I'm not piking at the hips, but I've dropped the hips down. And the ball, as you can see here, is directly under that right thigh 
kind of right above my knee. And I'm just going to pause there and rock side to side. I'm just on that right thigh, rocking side to side, separating a few of the muscles on the front of the thigh and finding a few of those tight places in the fascia that connects them. Your arms are running parallel like train tracks, pushing down through your arms to drive your chest through. So you're receiving that beautiful back bend work while you invite a bit of release at the quads. So I'm finding a lot of sensation here. If you're not, you can tuck your toes and kind of scooch so that the ball now, see how it's moving up my thigh. And I can do that again. So it's at my mid thigh. So you guys are really in control here. And this is a group that you could do just for 20 minutes on one leg, especially if you're a walker or a runner. You could play with bending at the knee. Or you could play with simply your trigger point. So I'm going to find that sweet spot and just sit onto it. Wow. Take a few breaths. Some of you might even be all the way up to that hip flexor. So remember this leg. In this quick class today, we're just approaching one or two points somewhere here, but you could be finding points anywhere from the top of the knee all the way up to the top of the hip. So you'll be actually amazed at what you find right in that hip flexor point. Maybe let that be your second point if you've not found one yet. Dropping the pelvis, pulling the chest through the arms. And if that's too much of a back bend, excuse me, take your elbows out a little wider. And you can just take that tension out of the spine if you're not feeling that today. You could also do this work with the fists stacked and the head completely at rest. Take one more breath on that right side. I've just released my right hip flexor by placing the ball. I'm gonna show you in the video. Directly at that attachment point for the hip flexor. So just in from the bony hip, just in from the pubic bone. So you guys play with that. And then we're gonna to switch to the second side. Once you feel like you've released, lift up and over to that left thigh. And remember most of us started kind of at the knee. So when I go into this, I start at my tabletop. I balance the ball directly in front of my knee. I shift forward to hold it there. And then I lower. <laughs> So I find my sphinx pose, and then I get those little rocks going with the leg, side to side, and maybe a couple army crawls until I find a sweet spot, either upright in sphinx or elbows wide, making a little stacked fist pillow for the head. You'll be overwhelmed with the sensations in some of these points. Please be kind to yourself. I encourage you to find a tiny bit of stillness if you haven't found it yet. Just sitting, being present with everything that you are discovering. Ooh. You might keep walking the arms back, or you might actually fully move the ball up to that hip flexor point and sit onto it. So just in from the bony hip and just to the other side of the pelvis, right where you feel some kind of guitar string-like tendons. You can just gently rock side to side, eventually getting to that deep, so as hip flexor or again maybe you're still on the quadriceps that's totally fine i'm just your guide but you are your best teacher so please go wherever you're being drawn to on this left side now and then once you've done a few wiggles i invite you into that stillness be present with those sensations Beautiful, very slowly tip to one side, grab your ball and place it under the right arm. So you're gonna actually lower onto that right arm, tend to the left fingers and weight bear onto that right side. 
So if I had a little bit more space, my right arm would be fully extended like this. And the ball is pressing right into the pec and I'm turning away from it. So you guys are on your mats, just turning away from that sensation, maybe wiggling side, side, up, down, feeling it, sitting into it. And then there's an option. So sometimes I find so much here that I don't want to move. And other times I'm just in the mood to do this full body sweep. So you can move to the outer arm by threading this right arm under you and placing the ball to that deltoid. So you'd be lowering down. I'm going to show you now, but this is what it would look like. And then on your yoga mat, the arm is threaded beneath you. And you're placing the ball to the outer arm just like this. A couple deep breaths, harder to wiggle on this position. So usually you'll just kind of sit into that. <sighs> Beautiful stretch for the shoulder. And then slowly release to side two. Place the ball under the left pec and extend that right arm long. Again, I'll show you guys in that seated position, but I want you to stay supine or prone rather. So you'll place the ball to that left pec and then kind of turn away from the ball to really feel that stretch across the fascia of the chest. A lot of amazing pressure points in here. Pectoralis major is this gigantic muscle that covers the whole chest broken into three parts. Each part of that muscle does have its own trigger point and we could do a whole class on that. But today we're just maybe seeing intuitively what we can find. And then you're either staying here or if you're ready for a little switch, you're folding the arm or threading that left arm beneath you and placing the ball to the outer arm. Again, it looks something like this. Enjoy a few more breaths there. And slowly arrive up and onto your back. So you can just do a little pivot, getting your legs out in front of you, placing your ball under your sacrum. Go ahead, lift the hip. Place the ball beneath the pelvis and lower onto it. Give a little side to side rock. Arms could either be up in these robot arm positions, palms facing one another, or if you're comfortable, arms down. Just enjoy this beautiful release at the back of the pelvis where a lot of the glute muscles attach. So that upper rim of the pelvis as well as those external rotators that help you to open and close the leg. So you'll feel a lot of amazing sensitive areas, both on the right and the left. Please get both sides. And then move over to one glute specifically and just do a supine release. You can kind of tip on to that side. You could even hook that side's leg above the opposite knee. Three or four breaths into whatever you've just discovered on one side. So good. I'm always amazed at what wonderful relief we can give ourselves, right? Slowly release after that fourth breath, bringing the ball back to the sacrum and just rebalance by wiggling side to side. That slight rock, that entry point for the nervous system before we dive onto the second glute. Whenever you're ready, positioning the ball to that second glute, 
tipping both legs in that direction to intensify, maybe even hooking that leg above the opposite knee. Sit with it for three to four breaths. Uh, notice what you're holding and ask yourself, what will it take to let that go? Sometimes a very gentle shift at the pelvis can intensify or lessen the stretch as well. Play with that. Beautiful. And then arrive back to that sacrum and just rock back and forth a few times. And go ahead and release your ball. Gently hug the knees to the chest, crossing at the ankles. Give yourself a squeeze. Perhaps a slight rock side to side. Three breaths here, big inhale through the nose, sweet exhale through the mouth. Twice more. And last one. Move to one side and support yourself or get a little kick to those. Cross your legs, place your hands together in front of your heart. And press your palms together. Thank yourself for taking this time to awaken and connect to your body. I'd like to thank you as well. Namaste.